Hi, I'm John Gann, Director of Engineering at Chesapeake Technology. In this video, I'm going to describe uh, one of our export functions that uh, a lot of people don't seem to know about, and it's a great way of uh, exchanging SonarWiz uh, maps and data with customers that don't happen to have a SonarWiz license. And um, the way you use it, if you wanted to, uh, for example, share this mosaic and this interpretation that's been done, um, including things like the bottom tracking and the the, uh, the contacts that you've captured. Um, you can do all that by exporting the data into one of our uh, common formats called the web format. And the way you get started with that is you use the export button and you can say save project as website. So you set up your output folder and your logo and your title and so on. You can set the background color of your web pages and your text color. And if you have a contact report, like we've got all these contacts here, you can hyperlink that contact report to your web. Specify the image resolution for your mosaic in the web and uh, whether or not you want the waterfall images to be included, and away you go. I'm going to go ahead and, and pause the video for a second so we don't have to wait for this to to uh, process. It'll take a couple of minutes. When the process is finished, uh, what happens is the, the web browser, whatever your default web browser um, used, is open for you. And I'll try to resize the uh, the web browser here inside my video frame. And what you can see is we've got that same mosaic image that we uh, that we had seen in SonarWiz, but now we're in, this is the Edge uh, web browser in Windows 10. And you can zoom and pan, just like you might in, in Google Map, and you can just drag the uh, mosaic around by panning. But some of the interesting parts about this are um, is what you can do with these contacts images. So each contact image that you had captured in your SonarWiz project is hyperlinked to this mosaic and if you click on these bubbles you can actually bring up um, the contact images for each contact. Again this is totally outside of SonarWiz so your customers or end users have access to the same data that you are with. So uh, that's what's one kind of cool thing and then the other thing is the ability to um, actually look at the waterfall images. So you've got your complete XTF files here that you can scroll through and get cursor tracking information all in your web browser. In summary, the web export function can make you look like a rock star and make your end users happy by giving them data in a format that they instantly know how to use. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, follow our YouTube channel to see more feature spotlights like this one, or join our training session in Charleston, South Carolina this December, or London, England in March 2016.